They were great. <laughs> Natasha Comis, did I tell you she was great? And sitting right next to me yes. is the lady herself. Natasha, how's it going, kid? Very good. What's no. going on? Hello, guys. <laughs> Who's the band from uh, right to left? This is Hunter, uh, guitarist, Daniel bassist, and Johnny, the drummer. Hello. You know what? He was the first one here. Yeah, I know. What happened to you guys? <laughs> <laughs> you know how it is. I know. It's very hard. I know. really know how it is. <laughs> so now, listen. Tell us a little about yourself growing up. I mean, did you fit in with the normal kids? No, definitely. I was always kind of like doing my own thing. Always independent, for sure. Um, I kind of always knew I would be like doing this right now, too. You know, like I always, I would make like little tapes and music was always my thing. And I was pretty much the same person I am today, I mean, just what, smaller. <laughs> what were your biggest influence back then? Who were your favorite bands? Uh, back then, like when, well, I was born in 84, but my mom was young. So we, you know, were watching MTV, Billy Idol, Duran Duran, all that kind of stuff, mm. you know? Ramones, Kiss, anything like that or no? I wasn't, no, Kiss recently. Like Ramones, I was never really into the punk thing, you know? I kind of like, you know. Joan Jett, no? I was, you know, I never really got into her. I mean, people say all the time, oh, you guys look a lot alike, you know, you, you kind of, I, I, I could sing her stuff very well, you know, but um, she didn't really like, I mean, I, I like her, she's cool. I can, see, I can see you be the Joan Jett of the New Millennium. Yeah, yeah <laughs> maybe. I'm a little more glam and New a little more, like, I think, feminine than she is, you know? Oh, yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. <laughs> so. When would you say you started to look and live rock and roll at around what age? Um, I was always, you know, like into it. Like even when I was like little, you know, like used to wear bandanas, like little glasses. Right. And I grew up and my cousins were always in bands, like in 80s hair metal bands and mm -hmm. stuff like that. And I was just like young, like, oh man, you know, why do I have to be so young? But you know, <laughs> now it's, it's funny because a lot of that came back, I think. And hair oh, metal, definitely. especially like everyone, kids want to relive this. Like, I mean, our generation, we got stuck with the, the damn 90s, you know. Tell so. me about it. That, that killed it all. And then rap and hip-hop came in, and then yeah. rock and roll was done for a while. That was a very poor decade. Big time. <laughs> oh I mean, the bands of today, I mean, we're talking about the old school. What is that that's now that you actually consider good music and rock? Guys? Good music and rock. What's good today? What's going on today? Wow. I haven't, bought, no a new, I haven't bought a new CD <laughs> except the Guns N' Roses or Metallica. Yeah, I don't think I, that's I haven't it. bought a new you know? CD in so long. Yeah, you, you hear it. There's nothing going on right now. <laughs> so now listen, there was a big uh, article and a uh, big buzz about you hanging out with Tommy Lee. Why don't you talk about that? Oh, that, um, I don't know. I was at a Molly Crew concert. and we're, we're friends, you know what I mean? But people always think it's something else, you know? They're like, oh, he's hanging out with a girl. He has to be like with her. No, it wasn't like that. Just, it is, you know. Any uh, chance of maybe uh, him helping you guys out or doing something with you in the future? Um. I think I'd, I'd rather get there on my own, you mm -hmm. know, like, I don't like using my friend's help, like, that's not, that's not just the way that I roll. He's a cool person, that's it, like, you know. And you've done uh, the Paris Hilton show, American mm -hmm. Apparel, yeah. a little bit of a few things, the Daisy Love that. show. Um, the Paris show, well, I did American Apparel, like, before American Apparel really got big. Um, like, now it's everywhere, it's blown up, like, the companies, I mean, everyone wears it, whether you know it, you probably have American Apparel in your closet. Mm -hmm. And um, I hooked up with a company, like, right? before they blew up. I was like one of their first like campaign girls and I met the owner and honestly I did not know that this guy was like an owner of anything you know because he's like he's out of his mind he's awesome we're great friends now but he didn't seem to be a CEO of anything and uh, I guess I you know he's like oh I'm gonna do this photo shoot let's do this do this he's like you'll be on every newspaper tomorrow morning I'm like yeah okay I've heard this before the <laughs> next morning I'm getting phone calls I'm in Florida like oh you're in the newspaper I'm like okay this guy obviously has pull and then like billboards started happening like huge things in Vegas and just went down in 2020, I mean. You've been playing all over the New York area. I mean, uh, what are your future goals with the recordings, the albums that are out? I mean, what, what's happening? Well, we just got back from Rocklahoma. We played that festival, it was really cool. Um, it's very like 1980s geared. Um, I don't really wanna have just like one demographic. I don't wanna just have people who just like rock and roll or this, I, it's, just, it's about art, you know, for me. And I just kinda wanna do what I do. I wanna be able to go into like a, you know, senior citizen home and, you know, have the people be like, yeah, that's art, you know, that's cool. Yeah, yeah, or yeah. like even hip hop like crowd, which I did on, you know, New Year's Eve Irving Plaza. It was all hip hop, but they took well to it. So, so what do you like, what do you, what do you call yourselves? Pop rock, rock, punk rock, hard rock, or a little bit of combo? What do you guys think? A little bit of everything. I mean, I don't know. It's, <laughs> I mean, you look punk rock metal hard pretty pop. much. I don't know. It's like, yeah, it's a little bit of, yeah, yeah. It's like, it is a little poppy. Yeah. We're, we're writing to like obviously be relevant in today's society. So you gotta I mean, be a little bit That's the video you got, the second song, right? I believe, what's the name of it? Oh, Party of the Year? Yeah. 
Um, I saw a video on YouTube. Yeah, that's just like a little viral video. It's not we have. That's like a good radio song. That that's yeah. what it yeah. is. It's a pop song. It's you radio. You dance to it. You can chill to it. You can party to it. A lot of people will like it. Yeah, kids will like it. You know, it's it's like a little bit of glam. I mean, I don't know. I'm inspired by a couple of different things. It's a little dancey, a little bit. You know. Now we got here. We got the EP. Mm -hmm. uh, you got a future album coming out soon. Four yeah, songs. Yeah, we're working on it right now. The EP is actually on iTunes, Rhapsody, any, anywhere online. It's already distributed, um, so we're working on the rest of it now. And uh, recording in the city. We're recording. Uh, it, well, well, sorry, excuse me. We're right. recording in Jersey and uh, New York. You got so. a producer with you? No. Yeah, yeah, I have a producer. I have a, a deal uh, with a producer, and it's basically an album deal. Okay, cool. And uh, I'm happy with him. The way he works, his vision on music and rock and roll. It's it's more. It's a little futuristic, you know. I respect all the music of the 80s, but we want to twist it around a little bit. Yeah, you got to change it up a little. Yeah. yeah. Anything else you'd like to talk about before we uh, sum this up? The website, people can get oh, in yeah. touch with um, you. You guys, where can I just look? Like, just anywhere? Or just like you or... Right. Any, <laughs> any camera that has a, a red eye. You guys just check out uh, natashacomis.com. It'll lead you to everything. We got the music up there, videos. And uh, just stay tuned, because I'm sure that some other... Crazy things will happen in papers or whatever. You well, know? Listen, when you make it big, you still got to come back on the show. Oh, we'll come back. All right? Yeah, we'll come yes, back. As a courtesy definitely. of the show. Well, let's give it up for Natasha Comas. Thank you very much for coming out to the show. Thank you.